Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And we are back for a, actually seeing things differently. Um, so this is my blog and um, what, how this is going to work. I'm going to basically be combining two days when it comes to my vlogs and what my thoughts on things and whatnot. And this very first bit, I thought I was recording and I took a picture instead. So this is why you're just seeing a still frame. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I think I just went over how I got there. And um, I think at this point, and because I had to basically re record this, I am discussing getting to Maine and some of the mishaps that happened in the morning, but actually all worked out. Uh, I missed my original flight uh, and I'm kind of going into how that happened. And hopefully you enjoy this vlog and yeah. Oh my gosh, my allergies are just like out of control right now. It's bothering me. But anyway, um, I kind of, I forgot to bring a stand for my camera and whatever, it's fine. But <clears throat> so anyway, <clears throat> I get to the airport, check my bag on time. No problems. Security was backed up. And I mean, I have pre-TSA and clear and it was still backed up. Yeah. Um, and my guess, and I didn't think about it um, when I was booking the flight, today is 9-11. And for those who don't know, look it up. I mean, it's a major um, American event that took place in 2001. Per well, and that, and part of it entailed flights and it crashing to the World Trade Center. So I think the flights today were cheap. And I'm almost, I'm almost positive when I booked the flights, the flights were ridiculously cheap. And, but I booked it a while ago because I knew I was going like back in like June. And, um, yeah. So when I did that, I guess I didn't put two and two together. Oh, everyone's going to have the idea and do that. Because normally flights are cheaper on Tuesdays. But this was weird because it was actually cheaper on Wednesday than it was on Tuesday. So I booked. And so the airport was busy. And I mean every airport. Because I did not was not able to get a direct flight. That was a reasonable price. So I, as a result though, <laughs> because of, you know, security being backed up, even with it being pre-TSA, I missed my flight. Um, and the flight was for me to go to Baltimore and then from Baltimore to Maine. And which was, I'm like, ah! And I had to go all the way to like the end of one part of the airport. And then I talked to the customer service desk. I was like, actually, we have another flight that you have to go to Nashville and then go up. It's kind of a pain in the butt because I'm flying with opposite direction going up, but whatever. I'm not going to say no. And I basically will get here two hours later versus the original time I was supposed to get here. Whatever. Not a problem. I messed up. I own it. Got to deal with it. Um, so it was actually my first time in Nash, like in Nashville airport. It's actually quite nice. Um, I've actually never really been in Nashville for real, for real. And I like to check it out. So yeah, um, I got there to Nashville and I went to the customer service desk immediately there. I was like, Hey, I need to get another flight to Portland. And like, Oh yeah, you're number one on the standby list. <laughs> so it was not a big deal. I was on the standby list and it didn't change anything. And I will say, say this in both of my cases of my slight blunders, um, cause also too, that means my rent a car, I'm at risk of my, you know, if it's as busy as it is, which it was, I could be at potentially risk of like me getting to a rent a car place and they run out of cars. Cause that has happened to me before where I had to wait for them to get more cars. Um, and by the way, pro tip that will happen if you go somewhere south, like if you're from the north and you go south, like Arizona or something like that. Never, ever, 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 ever travel around President's Day or MLK Day. That's usually when that happens. President's Day, 
specifically in Phoenix, Arizona, because they have a major golf tournament. So they run out, they run out of cars. Just an FYI. <laughs> um, I learned that the hard way, but it, it got figured out. No big deal. But anyway, <clears throat> I guess I say all this to say, I think I said this before, my seeing things differently videos before. That's why you do not count your initial day as the actual day. It's day zero. Okay. The only thing you want to be, you need to be concerned about is getting all the things, getting to your Airbnb and getting some decent food and settle in. And that mission was accomplished and I was happy as I was happy. But let's get back to this, the story though. So get to Nashville, got the flight and everything, no problem. And from there, um, I got to the airport. I mean, I got to, um, oh man, I'm tired. <laughs> but I got to um, Portland two hours later. So I got, got there around two. And then because my bags were not on the original flight, my bag's been there. But because, oh, I forgot to mention this. So back to what I was saying. I was saying this when it comes to standby and all that. I don't know if it's like this for everyone, but because I am a Southwest Rewards girl, they take care of me whenever I have my blunders. I, like, I've never had any problems where I don't get what I want or they accommodate me. It, it's like, it's always a correction. And I don't want a chance to where that doesn't happen, but I've never had problems because I am a Southwest girly and um, I'm loyal. <laughs> I've been one since I think... 2013. Um, speaking of, I kind of want to book one more trip so I can get my points um, for priority seating. But um, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's important, but it's not. Because like Southwest, the one thing about Southwest is like luxury basic. Like it's not, you're not going to have first class or business class or anything like that. That's just never, that's not a thing. Um, but it's not a tinfoil of an airplane and like you have legroom. So it's a happy, affordable option. And for me, since it's just me and me only, I'm good with it. Um, yeah. But because my bags were already at Portland because <laughs> I, it, it went on the original path, um, <clears throat> I was able, I went to the customer service baggage thing and got my bags right away. So I didn't even have to wait for everyone else to get their bags. So that was actually a good thing. I actually kind of got them ahead of time <laughs> in a way. So <clears throat> that was nice. But then once I got to the rent a car place, that was packed. Um, but it wasn't horrible. Like the, it was packed, but it was a fast moving line. And they actually upgraded my car <laughs> for the same price. I was going to get like just a regular sedan. And um, they upgraded to like a mini SUV. So basically why I already drive like in real life normally. So, and it's brand new, <laughs> which that kind of makes me nervous. I'm driving a brand new car, but I just, I got a nice upgrade for my mistakes. <laughs> so it was like, I made mistakes, but it actually worked out. So I'm not really mad about it. <laughs> and I still got to go all the places I wanted to go, which the only place I wanted to go to was Paya Seafood Restaurant. And, um... This is where I'll show the picture. I went there back in 2020. And I've been craving this lobster roll for four years. And honestly, I'll be completely transparent. I'm at the point now, which is, this is going to sound like a waste of money and just a waste of gas and everything. It's horrible. Because I'm such a foodie. I would be willing to just fly here to get that and then go back home. I didn't, I mean, honestly, for me, my, my, my trip is complete. I didn't need to do it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's true. So it was amazing per usual. I, the chef was like, he checked on me and the food was already gone. <laughs> and he checked on me like a decent time, but I inhaled it because again, this is the only bad thing because there was a flight delay. I'm eating now at like two something. And so I'm starving <laughs> and I woke up this morning at five something. So I'm like hungry, hungry. So I was like, <laughs> and also too, the food was good. And I also ordered, um, seafood paella for dinner 
and that's here. I just got done having that. Bussin'. Um, <clears throat> I will say this, and I'm a little concerned about that, about it. Sorry. Ugh, similar things have happened in Puerto Rico. That's not, so, not as bad, though. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, my face is probably going to break out. For those who don't know, my face is going to break out during this trip. And the reason why is because, um... My things are buttery, which I try not to eat too much of it. Um, my face breaks out. And I'm going to eat a lobster roll probably every day. Yeah. Not sorry. <laughs> I'm going to eat all the seafood. I'm going to eat every food that I see. It's, yeah, this is a foodie trip. It's a foodie trip. But it's also I'm doing a half marathon too. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing tons of hiking and stuff too. So there's that. But, um, I got to my Airbnb and I'm, maybe I'll show you around it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a nice Airbnb. Um, pretty chill, pretty relaxed. Um, and I'm in a beanbag right now, relaxing, trying to wind down and I'll probably try to get to sleep around nine, not around 10. Eastern time, so really 9 o'clock my time, I think is when I'm going to try to get to bed. Because I'm just like, I'm really tired. Um, and then I'm going to try to get things together for tomorrow. Um, I forgot I did bring my allergy medicine, so I'm going to probably do that before I go to bed too. Along with brush my teeth and stuff, you know. Um, I already just had my pajamas on. I went right into my pajamas, my pajamas as soon as like I settled in and got everything together. Um, and I'm going to put my bonnet back on. I just kind of wanted to show you how the hair is looking. Um, cause, okay. So for those who don't know this, when I did it initially, this was not as full and I was looking, I, I didn't like how it looked. So I cleaned it up yesterday. Um, yeah, cleaned it up yesterday. And so it looks a lot better to me. So there's that. Also too, one thing I will say about my allergies it's not really stuffy, and I don't feel like I have a feet. Like, I don't feel as bad as I did last time. It's just my nose keeps running. <laughs> it's been driving me nuts. I've been sniffling my nose all day today. Um, but it started, like, yesterday. Um, and then when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, no. I was actually kind of worried. I almost <sighs> I was debating whether I should, like, cancel the trip or not. But I have so much stuff I already paid for and stuff. I just didn't want to do it. And... My cat sitter already has showed up. By the way, this cat sitter that I have right now, already, I already can tell is much better. Can already tell. The cats are happy. Um, gave me immediate update on how the cats are doing. Um, not bugging me too much. Sending me the um, updates via email. It's perfect. Um... But I did let her know, like, hey, I, already, I did let them know, like, hey, if for whatever reason um, you need, need me, you can call me. Um, just in case I can't, but she can't find any, they can't find anything. Um, but I tried my hardest to make it where that's not a thing. Like, actually, this time around, I labeled all the things around the house so that, you know, they know where to go. Um, and then kind of put everything out in the open, too, so... I was like, I was like, let's just, let me just make this as seamless as possible. Uh, and I don't have any packages coming, so I think it should be pretty easy, but we'll see. But anyway, um, yeah, but that pretty much concludes, uh, the day. Oh, my rent a car. It's so cute. It's this cute blue color, like almost like a baby blue. And for those who don't know, even though I wear a lot, wear a lot of reds and like yellows and oranges, like warm colors, Blue is actually my favorite color, like legitimately. So like, I'm so happy to be in a blue car again. <laughs> um, I also like black too, but like, this is such a cute blue. So I was actually stoked when I got this car. I was like, oh, it's going to be a good trip. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just winding down, getting caught up with the debates because I didn't, I did not watch the debates last night because I went to sleep so early. I'm just getting caught up with that ish show. And then... Diddy getting sued some more um, by one of my favorite band members from formerly Danny DeKane, um, Don Richard, 
which by the way, everyone's calling her Don Richards, and it's not Don Richards, it's not Richard. Um, her, na her name is, I think it's Haitian, so it's Richard. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so I've been trying to get the tea on that, the lawsuit and all that, and I will say this, I know I don't normally talk about pop culture stuff, but I'm going to just talk about this particular topic, because for those who don't know, I'm really, um, I'm very into a lot of independent artists, and she's actually one of them. I actually like her solo work that she's had ever since she's left Andy King, and I actually did get to see her, Aubrey O'Day, and Shannon from Dane to King form. Like, they actually did a Dane to King 3 situation at the House of Blues. Um, that was actually one of my first concerts when I first moved here. So I did see, I, I saw, I saw her there too. So I'm just happy that, because for one, I always knew Aubrey wasn't lying when it came to all the things with Diddy. And I'm glad that Don put pen to paper and made a legitimate lawsuit. And for those who haven't read it or heard it, it's, it's horrible. It's, he's done. He's done. But anyway, that's what I've been catching up on. I know that's kind of depressing, but I don't know. I'm a pop culture girl, so I like to be in the know when it comes to that, even though it may not be always positive. But anyway, that does conclude um, this first day. Um, I promise I'll have way better material the next couple of days, especially when I do my half marathon. Uh, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by that and where I'm at. <laughs> um, and then especially when I get to Portland. Yeah. But right now I'm closer to Arcadia. So there's that. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye. So I am in Winter Harbor and it is a part of Arcadia. Um, so by the way, the whole region's called Arcadia, whether you're in the national park or not. Sorry, my lips are chapped. Outside of the, so I'm right outside of the national park area. And then I'm gonna go towards national park area. And I found out through a couple of other visitors who have been here multiple times that if you go through the winter, harbor part of Arcadia National Park there's no actual entry fee so I'm gonna check that out I was thinking I was gonna go on a run today <laughs> I might go in the evening um I just want to see things and just experience things today so I think that's what I'm gonna do and but yeah this is just one of the stop spots to go to um it's really pretty let me so this is where I came from. And this actually is not the ocean. This is actually, um, but the place I'm about to go to is gonna be the ocean, um, the Atlantic Ocean. So I'm gonna go that way and check it out. And yeah, and by the way, hi. <laughs> um, I don't think I, you know, said hi again, but this is day two of the seeing things differently. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Nostalgic Funner. And yeah, my hair is back right now because I was going to go on a run and I'm like in my running clothes. Like if you see, yeah, I'm in my running clothes. Um, we'll see if I go running or not. And then this evening, I also have plans to go to a couple of breweries. And then tomorrow, I am going to probably go on the hunt for the lighthouse. I kind of want to go on the hunt on the lighthouse today, just get it over with, and then just do all running tomorrow, all re running related stuff to stay closer by. So I might actually do that. 
haven't decided yet. Um, my schedule's pretty open though for the most part because even though I I have been working, um, I brought my work and laptop with me just in case. Um, it just hasn't been as busy. Um, I actually got all my projects signed off on early, like intentionally, so I can enjoy this trip and not think about, oh, I have to get back to this, I have to get back to that. I wanted to make sure I got things done, which I did, and I'm around the people need me, and that's how it's gone, and pretty much everyone on my team is aware of it, so it's not like I'm being a jerk. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, this is the view. And I wish I could do that mountain while I'm here. I'm probably not because I just don't want a chance getting myself hurt. I might do it. I might do it after the race, though. I don't know. I probably not because I have that 50k. The 50k is in the way of a lot of things with me, honestly. But anyway, neither here nor there. Let's go to. By the way, the name of this place is Grindstone. Um, yeah, Grindstone Point, I believe. Anyway, Google Schmoogle it. You'll find it. I'm close to um, the next destination, and this is the ocean. <laughs> um, yeah. I am loving this. It's paradise. Yeah, I'm probably not going to run today. I'll probably run on Saturday and Sunday. I'll also run tomorrow. So tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Which I'm trying to think. If I run tomorrow, I run Saturday, Sunday. That'll be the four times. So yeah. That'd be good. Anyway. Across the 